Hello and welcome back to the Wild Wormhole. I'm D-House here with another Keyforge celebration. Winds of Exchange deck opening. I saved one just for you guys. I literally waited days to open this just to have something for uh, some YouTube content. So let's open this and get it going. We got another bot deck. Um, I don't love bot. Sanctum Sari and Star Alliance. Not my favorite two houses, but it is a lot of strong, a lot of armor um, and a lot of ways to just stay alive with the capture and exalt. So, um, let's see what we got. Uh, Psy cast soul dive buglin. That makes total sense. Um, so let's open this thing up. See what we got. I would love to see another Maverick or a legacy. Um, all right. So these two cards on the front will go away. Doo -doo -doo. All right. First card, we got the Alms Master. I didn't even think this was in the set. Is this a legacy? No, I'm curious. Deploy taunt. Play each of Alms Master's neighbors. Captures one. Sweet. Hey, draw swell. Ooh, I like that. Especially with the bot token, who's a one power. I should probably... Mm, let's see. Just for context, let's look at the bot. <clears throat> one power, token creature. Action, use a friendly non-star alliance creature. So we're looking for good reap effects or fight effects to be able to use this well. <clears throat> uh, but Hadros Wall makes it a little bigger, makes it to sur survive a little bit longer, so um, not the worst. Okay, so next up, Cat. Ooh, I like this one. Katarina, uh, play after Reap, capture one. Uh, destroy and make a token creature for each Amber on Katarina. Um, there's so much capture in Wizards of Exchange that this can absolutely go off and flood the board if you're not careful on the other side. So um, I'm a big fan of Katarina. Battle Evangelist, after fight, make a token creature. Um, pretty strong, honestly. I've I've been impressed with Battle Evangelist. So, Celestial Gorm, a little soft artifact controlled. Omni, destroy Celestial Gorm. Return each other artifact to its owner's hand. Would rather see destroyed, but um, still good. Oh, a, a second one. That makes it a little bit better, because then you can really kind of stall. And with the uh, Capture Pip 2. Grand Melee. Uh, reprint, destroy each creature that does not share a house with at least one of its neighbors. Cassie the Benevolent, that's where we're getting some Amber Pips. Muster, uh, make a token creature if your opponent has more Amber than you. Archive Muster. Um, okay, so again, the bot, I didn't reference this, but earlier the bot, the, yeah, uh, Katarina, that helps. Uh, the Battle Evangelist, that helps. Um, and that's that. Uh, so we got muster. Let's see what else we got. Outflank. Uh, each signal flank creature captures two from its opponent. Pandolf the Provoker. Taunt. Play. Enrage an enemy creature. Revered Monk. Ah, not great. Plus two armor for each of its sanctum neighbors. Again, there is a lot of capture, but uh, not super crazy. But okay. All right. So we are going to go into uh, sanctum, but let me just clarify. So again, for creatures, we've got these, this, Katarina, Battle of Angels, and Alms Master. Um, so yeah, so looking at these, immediately for bot, I see value in Katarina and Battle of Angels, but that's pretty much it. Um, unless, you know, I could use some of these guys to fight, um, which is helpful in its own right, right. but uh, mostly Katarina, for sure. So... Uh, all right, so six, six signal creatures. Let's move into Saurian. We've got Spartasaur with a capture pip. This is a very strong card. Reprint after friendly creature is destroyed. Destroy each non-dinosaur creature and after fight gain two. Hedonistic intent, intent which is ironic because that art is used elsewhere on accident. Play, exalt each flank creature. Uh, so, <laughs> gosh. Why? Why do I get this in every every deck I open that is available? Zarian gives me this card. It does have the extra pip, which makes it a little bit better, but this is such a symmetrical effect that it just hurts more, especially with a one power bot. Uh, each creature with the lowest power cannot reap. I hate that card. Tribune Popitus, uh, this, now this is strong. This helps the Serarium, right? Uh, before fight, you may exalt Tribune, and then each friendly creature gets plus two Amber for each Amber on it. So if I can get Amber, capture some stuff, 
with the Hadros wall. I've got some I've got some ways to avoid this terrarium, so that's helpful. Uh Change Lord Dex Dexterous. I have not seen this card yet, so that's cool. After Reap, you may exalt Chancellor's right neighbor. If you do, that creature belongs to House Saurian for the remainder of the turn. So that could be useful with the Sanctum guys, so not the worst. Faust. Love Faust. Especially with all the capture in Sanctum and the exalting that's bound to happen. So love to see Faust. Uh, can we get two? Nope. Uh, Grammaticus Thrax with some uh, enhancements. Oh, two of those. That's where we're getting all these pips. Pale into insignificance gives me amber destroy each creature with the lowest power. With the bot token, this doesn't seem great, but maybe, maybe with the capture, we can get big. Oh, double. Dang. So I only have two sorry and Wizard of Exchange decks, and they both have two of these. Uh, recruit, make a token creature. If you are exalted a friendly creature this turn, archive recruit. Symposium. Um, wait a second. Wait a second. Here we go. Here we go. You guys ready for the same deck? Same deck. Same art. Hedonistic intent. Exalt each flame creature. Uh, a symposium got the wrong art. Capture pip. Exalt ready and use a friendly creature. If it's a token creature, you may exalt ready and use another friendly creature. Um, what are the odds I accidentally play the wrong card in my hand because of the art in this deck? That is so funny. <laughs> okay. Okay, now, all right, so we're getting all right, so we're getting into Star Alliance. Let's look at this for a second. Because again, we have the token bot. Let's look at the creatures. So we've got uh these guys, Faust doesn't do anything. Uh Chancellor could do something, so bot could maybe spam a little bit extra amber and then uh Tribune pop it. So five five dinos with Serrarium and uh oh no, six dinos with Sparta. No, this this is not insignificant with a bot. Um and just Spartasaur to be able to fight, gain two. Um, oh, sorry. No, no, no. That, that's, um, yeah, ignore me. Um, Spartasaur takes some real thinking to get around. But six Dinos, uh, not terrible. Love to see it. All right, moving into Star Alliance. Uh, you may have seen it. General Order 24 with the damage pip at the start of each player's turn. They may choose a creature they control and destroy each creature of the chosen creature's house. If that player has no creatures to play, destroy General Order 24 instead. This feels um, not great in this deck because of the capturing and the exalting. Feels like I'm going to be giving up some Amber here. So not super excited about General Order. Ooh, hello, Pips. Uh, it's Nersoto, Capture Pip, Damage Pip, Deploy, and we can heal some damage. SV3 Lander, Capture Pip, play, make a token creature. Omni, destroy this uh, thing. For the remainder of the turn, you may use friendly token creatures. Okay. Uh, we got CR Hawkins, love this guy. Deploy, gain one for each of its uh, non-Star Alliance neighbors. Tabor, also a great card. After fight, after reap, you may play or use a non-Star Alliance card this turn, which I love the after uh, effects here that they've uh, they fixed. That's pretty cool. Ooh, double Tabor. That's some good efficiency right there. Good efficiency. Future booster, more efficiency. Omni, look at the top card of your deck. You may put it on the bottom of your deck. Photon Blast, deal two to a creature with one splash. If it destroys one or more creatures, make a token creature. Red Alert, more damage out of hand. Uh, they, those could uh, pair together, but Sanctum and Saurian, I feel like I'm going to have a lot of guys on there. Uh, Rogue Operation, Capture Pip, discard the top two cards of your deck, steal one for each house represented among the Dark Discarded cards. This Amber Pip could be great or absolutely terrible, but, um, yeah. Uh, now with Omni Booster or Future Booster, well, it doesn't really, it doesn't really synergize. Uplink, this creature gains action, make a token creature for each of this neighbor's non-Star Alliance cre neighbors. And last but not least, Navigator Ali. Play after fight after reap. Look at the top of your card your deck and put them back in any order. Okay, so first thing, first thing I do is look at uh, amber pips. We've got one, two. Oof, only two in Star Alliance. We do have a lot of capture in here, ironically. <clears throat> so only two in there. In Sarian, we have <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven total, so five in Sarian. 
And one, two, three. So only 10 Amber Pips in this deck. Um, lots of exalting. Um, lots of capture. Um, with the bot token, I mean, I don't know. With the bot token, I feel like uh, I would have loved to see one of the bigger, like the Bellator and Warrior, I wouldn't have mind, because then having a little bit more fight, a little bit of beef, like for that Faust the Great to like tax keys. There didn't seem to be a ton of Amber control in this. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure about this. Um, here is the deck. We've got, uh, you can see the whole thing. So uh, as far as rares go, we got Sparta Sword in General Order 24. Um, yeah, lots of enhancements. That's cool. Love the enhancements. Um, but yeah, we'll get this on the table table eventually. But um, there you go. That is uh, Sir Cast Soul Dive Buglin. And uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you in the next one.